Duco, Duco, but step who's guys, Duco, Duco, 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 I want to invite my very dedicated friend and friend, Chachi, to continue with the program. Uh, let us keenly listen to what he's uh, about to tell us. Because uh, this is a, not a today's project, it's a future project for all the talented young men. Karibu Chachi. Thank you. guys. Good evening, guys. Good evening. First of all, I want to thank God for this day. And I want to thank everyone for showing up. It has been successful. And we can uh, appreciate ourselves by clapping. Uh, good. Now, uh, this is a, a tournament organized by Project 61. As you can see, the logo. Their aim is to support, empower, and release, right? Yeah. That's all we need, right? Yeah. We need to be supported, <coughs> to be empowered, and then released to the world, impact others, as in, it's like a circle. They support, empower, release, we go, how to support, we empower, and we release. <coughs> So thanks guys, uh, the tournament has been successful. The winners won. We have no losers. And uh, we are going to we are going to award the winners. And their first position is going to be to be awarded by the start with number three. Start with number three. Yes. The first position is going to be awarded with the chairman. First runners up, like we are going to arrange in that manner. So uh, I'm going to welcome my my brother Ruben. Uh, he'll introduce the friends before we we do the awards. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yes. Ruben. Wonderful. How are you guys? Good. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. That's good. So my name is Ruben. I'm the Vice President of Project 61. Wow. So, we're so happy to be here. Yeah. And we, you are so important that we even brought the President along. So, can we give a big hand of Papa Luke? Of Project 61 International. Yeah, do you know where he's from? He will not tell you. <laughs> when he starts talking, you will know. And, and you are so important that we even brought the Treasurer with us. And this is Pops Matthew. And, and you are so important that we even brought the secretary along from Australia. And I even brought the, the, the secretary and vice president's son as well. So clap for this man. And you are so important and we are so excited about what we are doing here that uh, we even got uh, this prophetic dancer, but it is only that the sound system was not here. He's all the way from Sri Lanka. He's an international prophetic dancer that goes around the world and travels. Yes, he's not pathetic, he's prophetic. So be careful what you say to him, because he's very good. Hopefully you will get to see him in our Easter conference as well in Kitale. And uh, you are so important that we even brought someone all the way across the border from Uganda. Her name is Esther, Queen Esther. Uganda, Uganda, come on. In Uganda, when I go to Uganda, we were there last week, and we, we come there, they, they give us a big in, in, introduction. And the noise is so loud that I say Kenya has really failed us. Now, do you think you can give her a bigger introduction? Yeah. 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 Now, we have one more, all the way from Nairobi. Now, you have to give her a good Kitale introduction. This is Hannah. Can we introduce her? Well 
done. You guys have done so well, and uh, we appreciate what you're doing. But as uh, Churchill said, the, this is not the first time and the only time. This is the beginning to something that we would love to see an empowerment <coughs> for the nation. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, very something in sports is very important is character. And character, we talk a lot, but the fruit of it is important. Yeah? So you see many people, even celebrities, they talk about good character, but then they're in the news for bad character. So one of the things that we want to see here is how to, not that you have good character, how do you sustain good character? Because the, by, at the beginning, we have to admit that we don't have good character in everything we do. We can't just pretend that we know everything, we are okay. So the biggest problem with men, is they don't like to say that they have a problem. Is it true? Yes. Is it true? Yes. We try and sort it out ourselves. Yes. Huh? So something we have learned to do is to create brotherhood where we begin to encourage and not put down one another when we have problems. Uh, we, are, we are meant to be strong, but we are also meant to be vulnerable. We are meant to be what? Vulnerable. vulnerable. When you are vulnerable, you, bring, you become, become more courageous. You understand? And we teach our young ones even how for them they can do the same. And we become better for our nation and we become better for one another. Okay? So let me ask uh, our president to speak something. So give him a big hand. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he'll tell you where he's from as well. <laughs> wow, wow. Thank you, thank you. Um, we are honored to be here. My name is Luke Iwunze. And uh, I love rugby. When uh, Jeremiah was teaching you the hacker, I was almost tempted to teach you my hacker because I'm from New Zealand, the number one <laughs> hacker. <laughs> but, but I did not do that. The reason I did not do it is because what I saw here today has given me hope for Africa. Amen. I, I see you actually outshining Australia and New Zealand. You can make it. I am satisfied what I saw here today. And uh, I'm glad that we are part of engineering this and bringing the community together, bringing friends. Now that you have tested what it's going to be like, it's now in your hand to pass the message, spread it. We are saying it's going to happen again next year, and uh, it's going to continually happening. Uh, as, we, as you can see, the support, the empowering, and the release for us is all about our dignity. You know, each and every one of us is special. Each and every one of us is made with purpose, as well as a lot of potentials. And in sports is one of the way, you know, uh, Kenya is known in the world for athletics. But I want Kenya also to be known for rugby. Wow. You already did. Yeah. In rugby seven, you are a giant. You know, yeah. I've seen that. And um, I don't know, it, you, you probably have heard of Jonah Lomu. That is uh, one of New Zealand's uh, mad boy. He, he started from uh, rugby seven, and he becomes a bulldozer. Every person on his way, he push them down, and he will go and score. And um, he unfortunately passed away. He contracted a kidney disease that didn't, he died in his 30s. He didn't last long. But hey, uh, here we are. Africa is rising. Kenya yes. is rising. Yes. And I want to see this going on. And uh, we're going to start uh, possibly an academy going on here. Yes. Something that will empower young people. That will show the best that God has placed in them. So we are all here to support and make sure that each and every one of our dreams come true. Because nobody here is a mistake. Nobody here is an orphan. Nobody here is a servant. Nobody here is a slave. We are all sons of the living God. Amen. And when we know our identity, that goes a long way to actually show how you behave. If you know who you are, you will always carry your shoulder high. You are not going to walk, you know, dissolutioned as if there is no hope. 
there is hope for each and every one of Amen. us. So thank you for being part of this great uh, uh, taking off of this. I think by now you will source out where I come from. Anybody want gaze? Who said I Come on here, my. You are the best. Oh, good. Yes, I'm Nigerian, but I live in that side of the world. But hey, we are coming home. Uh, the project is the one is having a presence in East Africa and Kenya is our taking off point. Everything God has placed in our heart to do, we are finding residents here in Kenya. Yesterday we had a good time with the students. Over 300 uh, children together and uh, is Ruben around here? Oh, around here behind you. oh yeah. Pastor Ruben is the coordinator of that program. He put us in touch with the children and uh, it was a great time we had with them. And we met a lot of people. We met uh, people from the uh, Zitek uh, University, whom I saw their team here today performing. So that was really good. So there is hope for this nation. And one of the speakers from Kwabi University. Oh, wow. wonderful. You know Dr. Fuller? Yeah. Yes. But that's good. So we met all those important personalities yesterday. And uh, we are networking for big things for this country. So thank you for this time. No need of long speech. You want to talk of the... Oops. And uh, of course. But, but, but you see, this is the, the All Blacks, yeah? Yes. New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. They do the best haka, yes? Yes. But who's the best team in the world? South Africa. South Africa. Hey. No! Yeah. It's New Zealand! It's, it's the Wallabies! We win! Wallabies! 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 your rugby team came to Australia some years ago, you know that? Just before the COVID time, and they played against our boys. Uh, one of them should have come here today, but he could not make it from the Rugby 7. Um, and he said we were good. But we, we believe in what you have said. Your guys can be better. Yes. Right. Is it possible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Learn from the best. This is our treasurer. Maybe he says a few words. I'm not going to talk, yes. talk about money. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Why, that, Why are you talking about money? But, money, but, money, money yeah, we're giving you some money for today for the prizes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Guys, listen, I think so can we get, Hey, if you want the money, you better give him a big hand. Okay, guys, all you need is to believe in your passion. If you have the passion to succeed, if you have passion to win, you will do it. Believe in yourself, right? Learn to believe in yourself. Don't let the world change your mind. But what you believe in your heart, go for it. And I know if you guys can decide to be the best in the world, you can do it. It's in you, right? You don't have to get others to change your mind. It's in your mind, it's in your head, in your heart. So if you want to do that, all I say is pursue your passion. When you pursue your passion, you will accomplish anything and everything that God has planned for you. And it's because the passion that's put in you is from God. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So don't change because something, don't be motivated by money, but follow your passion. And when you follow your passion, you God will bless and you. And the money will come. Yeah, the money when will you chase you. follow your passion you. first. Yeah? Yes. So for me, I'm a tra why am I treasurer? Because money chases after me. <laughs> right? I don't go after money, money chases after me. Right? So we, you know, we, we as uh, Project 61, we travel all over the world. We, uh, before COVID, we used to go to six to ten countries, do ministry, preaching, teaching, training, supporting, right? And we do all at our own expense. We don't ask a single cent from anybody. Even here, all this thing is sponsored by Project 61. We come here, we pay our expenses. Why? We want to see right Africa rising up. Amen. Amen? It's time for Africa to rise up. 
and this is why we believe. And if you believe, you can have it. Thank you, guys. There's some resources here if it will help you how to create business with little or no capital. I'm a son of God. God's calling your purpose and better than the tides. These are about yourself and about finances uh, and how to also know who you are as an identity. Um, so you're welcome to have a chat to, I think Esther is helping to organize. Uh, you're welcome to look at it afterwards. But now, I think we should give some trophies and some money over What do you think? Boom! Can we give a big clap for this man who is organizing? So transana position three, yeah. position three on Ajitambua and two. So captain and as a kuja chukua what? Well done, congratulations. Come on, give it up for him. Yeah.